Now, as we said, we have 10 students with different stress level. There are 4 students having a stress level of 8. So, what is the distribution? It is unimodal. There is just one peak that is there. Rather than saying that there are 8 students, who, uh, there are 4 students who have a stress level of 4, I can say there are 2 peaks that I have. Stress level of 8 that is there with the 4 students and again stress level of 2, I have 4 students. Previously it were 2. Now let's consider there are 2 more students whose stress level has decreased and their new stress level is 2. So what happens is there are 2 peaks and these 2 peaks make it a bimodal distribution. However, if there are multiple peaks, there are peaks let's say after every 5 or 10 interval, what would happen is we call it a multimodal distribution and in case you have all the values coming on a single line, we say it is a rectangular distribution. So understanding the terms is very very important. Unimodal means just one peak Bimodal means there are two peaks, multimodal means there are many peaks and rectangular distribution means all the peaks are at the same level and therefore you have a uniform frequency that is taken for all of those. Now once we understand this distribution, the next important thing that we try to understand or assimilate is the types of distribution. The distribution can be symmetrical or skewed. When I say symmetrical distribution, it is as per a normal probability curve. The best way to understand a normal probability curve is, I have a normal probability curve. Consider this as a figure drawn on a paper and when I fold it. Now when I am trying to fold it, this perfectly overlaps. When I say this perfectly overlaps, this means this is a symmetrical distribution. However, in case of skewed distribution, the distribution is not symmetrical. That means it would not perfectly overlap. And when I say it would not perfectly overlap, what does it stand for? It stands for a skewed distribution. Skewed Word comes from a French word which means skew and that uh, Q basically and that Q is the direction of the tail in which the line is going or in which the Q is going is what is skew. To understand the direction of skew is very very important. Commonly students do a lot of mistake understanding this. The side with a fewer value or the tail, I would say, is the direction of the skew. So when I say positively skewed, that means it is towards the right because you have the direction of the tail which is here. So direction of the tail is here and that's how we understand the skewness. On the other hand, when I say negatively skewed, the direction of the tail changes and it is a left skew or a negative skew that is seen. So a distribution which is skewed to the left would be a negative skewed distribution. A distribution skewed to the right would be a positive skewed distribution. So we understand the difference between symmetrical distribution and skewed distribution. This skewed distribution is governed by the direction of the tail or fewer number of values. So if the skew is towards the right, I say it's positively skewed, the peak would be on the left. If I say the skewed is, uh, this is a skewed to the left, that means it is negatively skewed and the peak would be towards the right. Very, very clear. Coming on to the next effect which is the floor effect versus a ceiling effect. When I say floor effect, most of the values pile up towards the lower end. So when I say most of the values pile up towards the lower end, the distribution is skewed towards the right. A good example is, uh, let's say a family cannot have less than zero number of children or fewer, number, fewer than zero number of children 
cannot be possible so what it happens is you it is not possible to have any score which is lower than a given score and that is what is a floor is uh, floor effect on the other hand when i say ceiling effect it's not possible to have a score higher than a given score and that's what is a ceiling effect so floor on the base not below that is possible ceiling the roof not above that is possible so you are in a room of statistics with a floor and a ceiling no value below it would be the floor effect no value possible above it would be the ceiling effect. The next important term that we understand is crutosis. Now crutosis is the shape of the distribution. When I say a normal probability curve, it's a symmetrical distribution. Crutosis again is symmetrical but it is either flattened or steepened. So depending upon the curvature, so if it is flatter, we say it is platycrutosis. If it is normal, we say it's mesocrutosis. And if it is peaked, we say it is leptocrutosis. So distributions with a, usually a flatter curve, I would say, have fewer scores towards the tail as compared to a normal distribution curve that is there. And along with that, sometimes we do have uh, problems where there are misleading graphs that are drawn. Now, what does this misleading graph stand for? Misleading graph means sometimes the value, the intervals are not proper. So let's say one interval is 0 to 5, the next interval is 5 to 15, the third interval is 15 to 20. So if I uh, vary the range of the intervals that I am taking, Definitely my graph would be misleading, a very incorrect method in statistics. And the next is exaggeration of the proportions. So if I exaggerate the proportion, let's say I draw 0 to 1 at this scale and then I draw 0 to 5 at this scale. So what I am drawing, uh, doing is I am doing an exaggeration. It should be just 5 times of this. So if this is this, it should be 5 times of this. But when I am increasing the height, to any quantity it becomes a exaggeration and a disproportion so that becomes a kind of misleading graph so it's very important to note under statistics we cannot go for uh, uneven intervals that are there that would lead to misleading graphs we cannot go for exaggeration of proportions that would again lead to a misleading graph so this was a very fundamental introduction to statistics we would be covering many interesting lectures in statistics stay tuned have a wonderful day